Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? I am so happy to be here today to share with you my current random favorites. And I actually have absolutely no makeup today because I want to save that for my hits and misses, which you guys will see at the end of this month or beginning of next month. So I just wanted to have some girl time, hang out, and just chat about things that I've been incorporating and obsessing over outside of my makeup routine. So I have some skincare, some body care, a new drink I've been loving, new bras, just the most random things, but good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy definitely grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it and have some girl time starting off with my favorite bras i talked about these on my vlog channel and i just recently posted about them on my instagram but they are too good and too comfy not to talk about them on here so these are the victoria's secret love cloud bras and you guys i cannot get enough of these first of all i recently just stocked up and got a bunch of other colors i started off with like two or three of these and i became obsessed so i bought more they come in a ton of beautiful shades but I got these like of course the staples and this pink is to die for pink has become like my new neutral in my wardrobe I love it so much anyways these bras what I love about them is that they give you the perfect amount of support a little bit of push-up not too much but they definitely just elevate your boobs I wear this bra all the time but I was wearing it a few weeks back when I saw my best friend when I got back from vacation and she's like your boobs look so big and it's because of the bra. Because naturally, my boobs aren't huge. I have a 36B. But with these, it gives it the perfect amount of push-up and it just elevates the boobs. And I love what it does to them. It's such a comfortable bra as well. I normally always opt for wire-free bras. But sometimes you need a traditional bra. And this one is incredible. The straps, everything, they're very soft. They go on and they feel like butter on your skin. And even the padding and everything around this area is just a really good quality, super soft material bra. It has some pretty gold detailing it just has a nice low cut and it's just a good bra you guys have to try it out for yourselves to see what I'm talking about but it's amazing maybe go into Victoria's Secret try it on first see how it feels I'm telling you it's so good and this is coming from somebody who has tried so many different bras I've tried Savage X Venti bras I've tried Skims and I've tried a couple different bras from Victoria's Secret too just throughout the years but this one is by far one of the best ones I've ever tried and it feels so good and speaking of wire free bras I love this one specifically for from Hanes. If you're looking for just a classic, simple, everyday bra, this one is amazing. It also gives you a little bit of support. So I really like this whenever I'm working out or whenever I don't feel like wearing a regular bra like that one, the one that I just mentioned. Or even in general, when I have my period, I like to have a little bit of support. I don't like to just let them hang loose because sometimes they just get really sore and tender. So I like to hold them up in place with these bras and they just feel really good too. So it's from Hanes. You can get it at Walmart, even Target. I recently saw they have them as well but it's just a good classic wire-free bra it comes in a couple different colors next I wanted to talk about some body care products that I have been loving starting with the dove sensitive lotion whenever I get out of the shower I love to moisturize my body typically with a body butter body oil just something but some days I don't feel like using something really thick so that's when this comes into play it is the perfect everyday body lotion this is not for those of you who want something super thick like a body butter this is for those of you who want something very light weight it's hydrating but not extremely rich if you know what i mean and what i like about it is that when you put it on it absorbs into the skin so quickly it's not sticky at all and you see how quickly it's just like invisible but it gives your, the body just a really nice layer of moisture without being too heavy so it's really good just for day to day and what i like about this too is that it's a good layering moisturizer so if you have your perfumes or your body sprays that you like to spray on in the morning put a little bit of this on wherever you're going to apply and then apply the body spray or the perfume over top and it's going to last so much longer so if you don't have the matching lotion to your favorite scent just use something like this and it's really lightweight and it's just going to help for that that spray or perfume to stick so much better and last all day and you're gonna moisturize your body at the same time so it's a double win and yeah I'm a big fan of Dove they have really great products but their body stuff is so good and this body lotion I've already repurchased it so many times I get it on Amazon in like a three pack because it's always sold out whenever I go into my drugstore this specific one the unscented one but it's amazing I literally could apply this all day because it's not sticky and I just love how quickly like I said it absorbs into the skin it's like instant but you get just the perfect amount of moisture to your body. That has been my favorite. I put that on pretty much every night and I really like it too because whenever I do want some extra moisture, I will mix in a little bit of my body oil in there or this product right here, I cannot 
stop using it and it's funny because it says it's a belly butter and I use it everywhere not just on my belly but this is from Desi skin and this is the nourishing belly butter like I said I am first of all I'm not pregnant so don't get any ideas but I love Desi skin so much so when I saw this I was like hmm maybe I can use that all over my body and that's exactly what I've been doing so this is definitely much thicker because it's literally a bomb but it's extremely hydrating and I find that a little bit goes a long way so whenever my skin is feeling a little extra dry and I want to add some extra moisture to it I will mix this in with a couple pumps of my Dove moisturizer and the combination of the two it gives me such a smooth buttery hydrated finish to my body and I really especially like these two on the areas where I get the most dry like my knees my elbows so of course this would be perfect if you are pregnant and you want to moisturize your belly or even after you give birth I feel like this could be a really nice product because it is so thick and moisturizing but in general I feel like you could totally just incorporate this in your body routine as well if you want some extra moisture you know where else I like to apply this to on my toes they get so ashy especially after a pedicure just to keep the feet looking fresh this is a really nice addition and I really like to mix it with the dove moisturizer because I do find that this is so moisturized that you don't need a lot of it plus just to make it last a little bit longer mixing the two I feel like has gotten me through the month and I still have a good amount of product left another thing I really like about this it doesn't have a very strong fragrance so you could layer with other scents over top of it and it's not too overpowering it almost smells like nothing to be honest I smell a little bit like very slight citrus in there but it's so faint that when you layer other stuff over top of it this doesn't overpower it and you can't smell it at all so it's incredible you guys should definitely try it if you want something extremely extremely hydrating with good ingredients Desi skin for the win. More body products here. I have this hair and body mist from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Rio Radiance. This is one of their new limited edition scents. And wow, this did not disappoint. I started off with the small one first because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I ended up getting the big one because I love it so much. So I'm a really big fan of the Cheriosa number 62 scent. This is very sweet. Literally says on here, pistachio and salted caramel. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's a summery, tropical, warm, extremely sweet sweet scent but I love it it's one of my favorites I've repurchased it so many times and comparing the new Rio Radiant scent to number 62 this one is definitely more floral based versus this one which is more like that caramel vanilla base scent so if you love florals I think you would really love this one it's definitely very tropical but it has that floral it smells a little bit like sunscreen but not too much but it's so nice it's definitely the perfect summer scent and I also got the Rio Radiance cream this is cherry Cariosa number 87 by the way and this is really pretty too because it is illuminating I don't put this on all over my body I like it more so on my chest or my arms so it looks just very pretty and perfect for the summertime and I feel like this would be just a really good layering scent with other floral based perfumes so love fabulous another spray that I discovered just recently I talked about it at my Target haul that I just did if you guys have not watched that definitely check it out I did a shop with me and haul and I found some really good stuff but this is the finery sweet on the outside body mist I want to get more of these scents they smell so good but this one specifically if you like vanilla you will love this scent it's straight up vanilla warm sweet but what I like about this is that this smells identical to the Billie Eilish perfume this one right here this is a vanilla dream for my vanilla girlies and guys you will love this combo this also lasts really well throughout the day I'm wearing it today and I still smell myself it smells like vanilla just sweet but both of these scents they're vanilla but they're a smooth soft vanilla I used to be one of those people that didn't really like the warm vanilla sugar kind of scent because it made me nauseous but now I'm all about the vanilla my scents have changed and I love it but this isn't like it's sweet but it doesn't make me nauseous kind of sweet you know it's just a good smooth classy vanilla scent and the combination of both of these is incredible because the spray smells identical to the perfume so it's perfect for layering but they have a ton of other body sprays as well that just remind me of higher end perfumes so definitely recommend this brand at Target again it's finery and wow I'm completely blown away something else that has totally blown me away is the ordinary lash and brow serum this is my third one you guys and this is something that I'm terrible at being consistent with lash and brow serums and all those things but I wanted to try this out because I was using castor oil at one point which I do really like but it started getting on my clothes I don't even know how I guess when I was sleeping and stuff it would get on my t-shirts on my pillowcase and it just started getting on my nerves and sometimes it would even get in my eyes probably because I used too much and it would just make them 
sunburn and irritated and I felt like it just got very messy. So I wanted to get a lash and brow serum. I saw this online, I believe on TikTok, and I was like, let me try it. It's super affordable and I ended up using it and I felt like it really worked. At first I wasn't sure if it worked, but then as I was doing my mascara, I'm like, wait, my lashes look longer. And even some of you guys have noticed that my natural lashes have gotten longer. Now, they're not crazy long. I will say this doesn't do miracles overnight, but I definitely do see a difference in my lashes and I feel even more confident now wearing no false lashes on like my very simple makeup days because of the serum. I just apply this right on my lash line on my brows and I haven't had any issues with it. It's really good. It doesn't make my eyes sensitive and I really think that this works. So if you want something affordable, just a good lash and brow serum, I think this one is amazing. And I recently started using the lash and brow serum from Lumify because I wanted to test this out because I just got this in my Target shop with me. But the one from The Ordinary has been my favorite for the past couple months. So I wanted to give this one an honorable mention, but I will get back to you guys in a few weeks after I use up the Lumify one. But I'm really proud of myself for being consistent with lash and brow serums because it's one of those things that I usually tend to fall off and kind of forget about. But I've been doing good with my serums and this one is the bomb. Next up, I have one of my all-time favorite skincare products that I've definitely talked about before, but it's a must in my routine. And this is the Heritage Store Rose Water. It's just a refreshing rose water. I like this one too because there's no alcohol. There's nothing added to it. It's just straight up rose water. I just got a brand new one actually today at Walmart. This is like $10 and incredible. So typically when I get out of the shower or in the morning before I start my skincare, I always like to spray rose water or my Dalba First Spray Serum, which you can get this on Amazon. And this is a super glowy hydrating spray as well. I feel like the difference between this and the rose water spray is that that the one from Dalba is just much more glowy, whereas the rose water is just kind of like that instant boost of hydration and refreshing feel that it gives. But I always like to spray something in my skincare at night or in the morning every single day. And it's either one of these two. These are my two favorites. I'll kind of just alternate between them both. So those sprays are always in rotation, but I recently tried out the rose water toner from the Heritage Store, same brand as the rose water, and I am blown away. This is also really good. It's pretty much just like the rose water. The only difference between this one is that it does have hyaluronic acid in it so it's even more hydrating so definitely recommend if you have more dry skin the packaging is also a little bit different you can see this one comes with the spray bottle so what I actually did I have this little mini rose water spray so I've been putting in the rose water toner in the little mini spray bottle and just spraying it all over my face whenever I want that extra boost. It's just a really good toner and a good base for other skincare products over top. So love this brand. They have a really great rose water and I've been repurchasing it for a while, but I'm really happy with this toner. It's amazing. Another skincare product that I love is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love clearly glowy, dewy, hydrated skin, but I was doing some traveling within the past couple weeks recently and whenever I get back from traveling my skin is congested dry it's just not it's not good it needs a little TLC so whenever my skin is extremely dry and it needs a ton of that moisture back I've been using this hyaluronic acid serum and I love it good molecules makes amazing affordable skincare so what I like to do whenever I want to use this I will spray my face with again a ton of rose water because you want to put hyaluronic acid over a more damp wet face which I did not know that before by the way so the more you know, but I'll spray my face, put this on, and then just layer a ton of moisturizer over top, and I'll wake up the next day, and my skin is just so much more supple and hydrated, and it looks more plump and fresh, and it's really just all about the hyaluronic acid. So if you want to take your hydration to the next level and your moisturizer is not cutting it, try out the hyaluronic acid serum. It's so good and it's affordable. And then speaking of skincare, I wanted to shout out my skincare brushes and my little brush cup. This is from Anissa Beauty. I started using skincare brushes in the beginning of the year and I kid you not, these are one of those things that I didn't know that I needed and now that I incorporate them in my skincare routine, it makes applying my skincare and doing it every morning and night so much more fun. I am a big believer in just romanticizing the little things in life and sometimes skincare is one of those things that's a chore and you might not always feel like doing it, but with with brushes it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. I have a couple brushes here that I will talk about in upcoming videos because they're not all available yet but the two that I wanted to shout out first is the eye treatment brush and this I love it for my eye cream so you guys know I have nails on my acrylics which sometimes I get them a little bit longer than others but regardless I don't like digging my nails into my products anymore I mean 
you know, sometimes I do still, of course, but I hate when skincare and eye cream and all that gets stuck under my nails and then I'm trying to apply it under my eyes. It's just not ideal, but I love this little eye treatment brush, especially for the eye cream that I'm currently using, which is the Honest Beauty Melting Eye Balm. It's a little bit thicker because it's a balm, so you could dig your finger in here, but it's just so much more convenient to use a brush apply the product and then apply it directly onto your under eyes. I feel like it penetrates deeper into the skin. I use less product versus using my finger because then all of it is not getting stuck under my nails. And it's just such a good brush that fits really nicely with all of your eye creams in the under eye area all over your lid. And you're gonna be able to get the perfect amount of product and hydration on your under eyes without any mess and without wasting any of your product. And I've also been loving my cleansing brush. I like to use this with my cleanser, typically in the evenings because I don't use cleanser in the mornings unless I really feel like I need to but I really like this in the evenings whenever I especially I use this every evening but especially whenever I have a full face of makeup on I will take my oil cleanser remove all my makeup go in with a little bit of cleanser rinse it off and there have been so many times after that where I will go in and pat my skin dry with a towel and there's still a ton of makeup left over so sometimes I feel like even double cleansing is not enough with removing complexion products so that's why I really like using the cleansing brush because I will take a little bit more cleanser put it on the brush or put it on my hands massage it in and then go in with this brush and just massage that product and really remove any of the excess dirt and makeup that is left over that you think you removed but most of the time you did it love this brush because it is really soft there's also a nice little silicone rim here so you can really get in there and deep cleanse your skin without being too harsh or abrasive i also love the little brush cup this is where i store all of my skincare brushes in my bathroom it just makes it so much easier and it's also really easy to clean because it is silicone but you can fit a really good amount of brushes in here i've tried with my skincare and my regular face brushes and they all fit in here really nicely there's also little loops here on the side if you want to store any other brushes or if you're drying your brushes and you want to store them this way so it's very innovative you can bend it to and fold it into wherever you need it when you're traveling so yeah skincare brushes for the win they are the best I also feel like when I have my brushes it almost makes me want to do my skincare routine more because applying everything it's just more of a pleasant experience overall versus just using your fingers and everything it's the little things right another random favorite I don't think I've ever talked about these before but I have to shout these out my tweezer man tweezers these are the best tweezers I've ever used and I didn't know that there was such thing as the best tweezer but these truly are i've tried so many different tweezers like really affordable ones at the drugstore i've tried different ones from like tj maxx marshall's those places but you can actually find tweezer man at tj maxx at ulta they are so pointy and precise so if you have even the tiniest little hair this is going to get it out and you know what i really love about these for my chin hairs I get little random chin hairs all around here and sometimes they're so tiny but I can see them like when I get really close to the mirror and the only tweezers that'll work to get those very stubborn little tiny hairs out are these tweezers from Tweezer Man so they're really the best. I know they're pricier for tweezers but they're the best. Last but not least let's talk about a drink that I have been loving and this is the prebiotic soda from Poppy. This is delicious and I've tried every single flavor but the strawberry lemon is by far my favorite. Let me crack it open right now. Oh only 25 calories and four grams of sugar. There's also good ingredients in here and it's just a nice change to just drinking water because sometimes I want to switch it up and I don't want to drink just water or juice so it's nice to have this little soda. I feel like these would be really good even for mocktails as well. They're just good little sodas. Highly recommend. So that is everything for my current random favorites. It was really nice to just sit here and chat about other things besides just makeup. So if you guys have any other random favorites that you were loving, skincare, body care, hair care, give it to me. Let us know. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!